Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back here in The Sims 2, which I'm really excited about. I'm really looking forward to playing some more with Nina. We have, I think, three or four, three days left in autumn with Nina. So yeah, we're gonna see where it takes us. I think Vidkind went home, finally. He kind of hung around for a little while, but he's gone home now. And Nina wants to woohoo with three different sims, make out with three different sims, meet someone new, all the typical romance sim wants. I've not given her a secondary, so she's pretty much just pure romance sim at the moment. I think what we should do is we should have Nina walk to a community lot, maybe in Strange Town again, and see if we can meet anybody interesting. Okay, here we are. We have arrived at the Strange Town roller rink, and we've met a sim here called Ryan Wheeler. I assume he's a townie, I think. And he had some hearts and some attraction towards uh, Nina. So we have greeted him. Randy London, I think, is a teen. We've also got Meadow here, who I think is a teen as well. And, oh, Patrizio Monte. Uh, let's greet Patrizio. He's obviously from Veronaville. He's taken a trip on down to Strange Town today. So we will give him a greet. And also Brandy's here. And Coral is here. So we have quite a few familiar faces, which I enjoy. Let's go over and greet Patrizio. Nina hung out at the roller rink for a little while. She played catch with Patrizio, which is really cute, but they do only have one bolt. So I'm not sure how that's going to go in terms of a romantic relationship. And Nina has then decided to come over to um, the pool and see who we can see over here. And we do have, let me get a good look, Erin Beaker. So we've not seen any of the singles um, households yet, but I am really loving them so far. I've been in and I've given them all makeovers and I think they look so cute. And look at Erin. I love her top and her trousers and I love her tattoos. I'll zoom in and let me pause a sec because I don't want them to be like chatting when I'm trying to show you her tattoos. Um, but Erin has some tattoos and so does, I think it's Lola. Uh, no, Chloe. No, Lola. Lola has some tattoos as well in a very different style, but I just love the way that she looks. I love the way that all the singles girls look. I'm really excited to get to play them. And I wanted Nina to meet them because I really think that Nina could be friendly with the singles girls, maybe even live with them in the future. Maybe she could move in because she is a... I was like, Aunt Babes, no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. We just met. Please don't please don't talk to me. Um, but yeah, I think it would be really lovely for Nina as a single lady herself to move in um, with the singles girls. So yeah, I would like for her to talk to Erin a little bit and get to know her. Nina's been hanging out here at the pool for the afternoon. Her and Erin really are not getting along. Like they're chatting and they're building their relationship and it's going well. And then it goes bad. I don't know, like it goes well and then it goes bad and undoes all the good. So they do have a decent relationship, but they're still not friends because they keep kind of going into friendship and then not getting along and losing that friendship. So yeah, I'm not sure how exactly that's going, but I've also had Nina introduce herself to uh, Jen Burb, who is here, and also to Tiana Summerdream from Veronaville, uh, or Titana. I'm not sure, I need to research probably how to say that name. And also Jenny Smith is here as well. So I'm pleased, uh, you know, Nina obviously wants to woohoo with three different sims and make out with three different sims and fall in love with three different sims. But I am really pleased that she has been able to make some acquaintances with some of the girlies because as much as it's important for her to have those romantic relationships it, it is also important to me that my sims have friendships I love friendships between my sims look uh was that Titiana crushing on Jenny interesting interesting and yeah I really want my sims to have friendships as well so I'm glad that we've met some of the other ladies around town I think I'm gonna have Nina head on home though and maybe invite the singles household round and have like a bit of a girls night tonight might be fun so I'm gonna go ahead and do that 
Oh, so Nia's arrived home and she's had some flowers from Vikund. He says, Dear Nina, I never knew two sims like us could share such happy hours. Each a lovely second's memory it smells sweeter than these flowers. Here's Ryan Wheeler. It's kind of strange that he's just there and popped on by, but uh, we're not going to question it, I suppose. Let's put our flowers from Mr. Vikund in here. Um, very, very sweet of him. And I also, I think, controversial, um, but I think I want to go and I want to give Nina some money and I would really like to buy a hot tub again. There we go. So it's slightly cheaty because obviously the hot tub was stolen in the last episode, but I really want her to have a hot tub. So I'm going to purchase her one. And I really want her to invite the singles girls over and have a little girls night. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Fabulous. Sounds great. We'll be right over. So that is the singles girls on their way. Let's order some food. Pizza or Chinese is the question. I think those are the options in The Sims 2. I think, yeah, Chinese food or pizza. Let's do Chinese food. I always do pizza, so let's do Chinese food. Uh, would you like to order some Chinese food? I, I would, thank you. I would very much so. Oh, here they are. And here is Lola. Pause the game, pause the game, pause the game, pause the game. I want to show you guys. Uh, let's greet everyone. I want to show you guys the girls. Obviously, we saw Erin at the pool. And then we've got Lola, who looks so so beautiful. I love, love, love her tattoos. They are by Platinum Aspiration on Tumblr. Oh goodness. She is like fighting Erin. But yeah, she has, so Erin has like black and white, very detailed tattoos, like yeah, very intricate. And then Lola has like American, American traditional type tattoos. She's got like a, I can't really show you too, too well right now, but she has like a cow plant here and like a frog down here. She has some roses and flowers on her chest and then over this way on this. Sorry, I'm doing an awful job at showing you, aren't I? I always do. And then on this side, she has like more flowers and I just think she looks gorgeous. She is one of my favorite Sims. I really love the makeovers that I gave these girls. I think they look so cool. I can't wait to play them. And then we've got Lola, Clor Lola can't speak. Lola Curious here, little cute Lola and she looks really sweet. I'm doing an awful job at showing you them on time. So sorry. Um, but yeah, she looks so cute. Look at her. I don't remember giving her those necklaces. Maybe she bought them herself, but she has these really, really cute pink glasses and like a shaggy haircut. I think she looks really, really cool and sweet. I love all their makeovers. And then we have, of course, Kristen Lost. As we know, Kristen is a, um, sporty girl you know sporty sim and i went for a very like colorful orange and pink just like nina's apartment i guess i like that color combo but yeah like an orange and a pink little sort of 80 it gives me 80s workout it gives me 80s workout vibes but yeah so i really want nina to get to know these girls uh can we yeah just get these two fighting oh <gasps> But if she knows them all, she can work on her relationships with them individually as well. That would be good. Yuck, these two. Oh, here's our Chinese food. I love how they get the food out the booth. That's so fun. Uh, can we accept the food, please? You need to stop playing catch, girls. We have chat. Oh my God. <laughs> these two, Erin and Chloe are just not getting along at all. Oh dear me. So it looks like Nina is putting the food in the kitchen. Oh, someone's calling us up. Let's answer that. And I think I'm going to take the food upstairs. Oh, we don't have... Okay, there we go. I've spent quite a lot of Miss Nina's money on a little bit of a renovation up here. So we can maybe grab a box and hopefully everyone will come upstairs if we turn some music on. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Chloe and Erin are having a fight. Looks like Erin is getting beat up by Chloe. Oh dear. Oh no, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Erin beat Chloe up. Oh god, that's going to be an interesting, interesting time when we get over to their house. Erin's grabbed some food. Nina made some drinks over here. 
and then she got in the hot tub with Lola and I think Chloe and Kristen are going to come up and join the girls in the hot tub. I think Erin is a little bit alienated at the moment. She's, uh, yeah, she's a little bit feisty. Look at Kristen. She looks so good in that swimsuit. But yeah, Erin is a little bit feisty and not in a good way. <laughs> not in a good way so I'm not sure like how that relationship is going to go as we move forward because they are just not getting along um or Erin is not really getting along with a lot of the girls really so we'll have to see how that goes when we get onto the singles household the rest of the girls are talking in the hot tub discussing their interests getting to know each other a little bit it would be really lovely for the girls to make friends I really think that Kristen and Nina could be friends as they're both quite sporty sims and then also Nina and Chloe being both romance sims could be um be friends like like a powerful duo going out in the town like wing woman style it would be kind of fun so yeah I'm glad that Nina has met them all and now she knows them all she can pursue her relationships with each of them individually if she wants to Oh my goodness, the girls are just talking in the hot tub and Erin is like stood by the side cracking her knuckles, fuming. Look, she's so angry. That is so awkward. Honey, honey. God, the beakers are weird. The beakers are weird, aren't they? Nina is feeling quite tired, so I think I'm going to have her go to the toilet and go to bed. I'll leave the girls up here. They can do what they want. In fact... We should probably put the food in the fridge. Oh, we can't. Okay, well, that's fine then. Um, yeah, we'll go to the toilet, we'll go to bed, and we'll wake up fresh in the morning and we'll see where Friday takes us. It is the next morning now and Nina has gotten up and she's cleaned up. She's a very neat sim. So of course she went upstairs and she cleaned up all the food that was left over from the night before. And now she's just recycling some newspapers. She's gonna grab some cereal, mop up, the puddles get herself ready for the day she still has no desire to get a job which I guess is fine although she doesn't have very much money to her name at all but she's gonna grab some cereal and maybe have a little bath potentially tidy up the house and then I think what I would like is for Nina to maybe have a party today she wants to be friends with Jenny Smith and be friends with um Jen Burb so she's got two gens on the mind there in terms of friendship so it will be really good for her to get to know them a little bit better and I think as well it would be good have a party invite all the singles girls invite both the gens invite some men as well maybe and see just what happens and what unfolds she wants to woohoo with three different sims as well so if we could invite maybe Daniel Pleasant or something then Daniel could get to know all the girls, which would be good for him and his romance aspiration, but also be good for Nina because Daniel and Nina always get on. So she could get that third, that third woohoo in with him, maybe. Oh, and Nina just did a booty call for Vikins and now she's waiting outside to see if he turns up. Vikins and Nina, man, here he is. <laughs> The man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, and Mr. Vickens. A little wolf whistle. Whoa, goodly. Plus 5,000 points for Vickens, so I guess he wanted to kiss her, and plus another thousand, so I guess he wanted to flirt with her. Okay, okay. These two, honestly, and what are they doing now? They're going to woohoo, I, I assume. Yeah, on the couch. These two, I, I really like these two. <laughs> Maybe it's a situation like, should we give them a little bit of privacy? We'll come out of it, we'll come out of it. Um, who are you? I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, you must be a townie who I don't recognize. Uh, let's just position ourselves like this. I think maybe it's a case of like, Vic and Nina, maybe they both really like each other, but Nina is a little bit embarrassed to sort of go public with Vicand because she thinks he's a bit of a nerd. And maybe Vicand is a little bit embarrassed to go public with Nina because he thinks that he should be with, you know, a studious, uh, intelligent, smart, like traditionally smart lady rather than 
somebody like Nina who, you know, is a bit more relaxed about, you know, her academic, um, what's the word? Her academic studies and a little bit more relaxed about her job. She's not particularly interested in progressing in certain areas and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe, maybe they both secretly really like each other. It's giving me, do you know what it's giving me? And this might be strange if you don't remember this, but uh, 90210, there was a show called 90210 and there was a sort of lead character that had curly blonde hair. I can't remember her name, but she was really, really beautiful and really, really popular. And she sort of started to date this nerdy guy. I'll pop a little picture on the screen if I remember, but they sort of started to date and she was a bit embarrassed and they kept it kind of secret. It's giving me that sort of vibe. But then he actually turns out to be really cool and yeah, I don't know. It's giving me those kind of vibes. I I ship it. I really, really like them together. Let me know what you guys think. Oh dear. Looks like Vikand is still sick from the food poison he got last time he was here. Poor guy. Poor guy. And let's just see how this goes. So Nina is going to make some sandwiches. Woohoo on the couch. Make a sandwich. And let's see how these two get on. Whether they're just going to hang out like they did last time. Maybe they will. I don't know. I really like these two. So Vidkund is still chilling upstairs um, and Nina has decided that she wants to throw a party. So let's invite everybody that we think would be good. So we've got all of the singles girls, we've got Jen Burb, we've got uh, Jenny Smith, we've got Brandy Broke, we've got Daniel and we've got Don and we've got Titiana, we've also got Pascal. Um, we don't know um, Laszlo. We don't know Laszlo, so we can't invite Laszlo. So we'll go with that. We'll have a little party and yeah, we'll, we'll see what dramas unfold. Here come the guests. Oh, look at everybody. Looking sharp, looking sharp. Oh, these two are fighting already. Here's Pascal with his pregnant belly. And Nina and Don are dancing. I wonder how big can feels. Big can just dancing on his own. Bless him. Oh, there goes Chloe and Don having a little bit of attraction. Am I surprised? No, I'm not. Now I'm gonna have Nina influence Chloe to flirt with Don because I really like the idea of Chloe and Don. Let's see if she'll do it. Everyone is crammed into this little dance studio. Oh. oh, oh, I think that went well. I think that went well. Erin doesn't want to play red hands with us. Am I surprised? No. Um, where is, oh, and there they go again. <laughs> there they go again. Erin and Chloe are fighting. Where's our girl? Oh, here she is. Just needed a breather. She needed a breather. <laughs> Chaos in the background. She needed a breather. I uh, don't squeeze down, sweetheart. Mm, don't squeeze. Oh, they're enemies now. They're enemies. What if we went and we said to Don, "Do you wanna maybe like kiss Chloe?" And we'll see if he wants to. Okay. Stro oh. Oh. <laughs> oh damn <laughs> oh damn so Nina asked like tried to convince Don to kiss Chloe and then when Don went ahead and did it Nina got furious I guess it was some sort of like maybe like a little test like I'm gonna try and convince Don to kiss Chloe and if he does it then I know he's not that into me fuming and now she's furious with Don um, what's going on up here? Here's Jenny. Let's go and um, talk to Jenny a little bit because we want to become friends with her anyway. So, and I think we need to get away from Don. And I'm not sure the kiss worked with Chloe either. And the girls are fighting again, Erin and Chloe. Are fighting. Oh my goodness, look. Lola and Vikan are splashing each other in the pool. I do wonder what's going on there. That could be a super cute pairing would it not Vikund and and uh, Vikund and uh, Lola that would be so cute oh mm, that could ruin my sort of 
That could ruin my, my thoughts around Nina and Vicken though. <laughs> Maybe Vicken's gonna have a tough decision to make. Maybe it'll be like, cute, sweet, nerdy, kind, Lola, who's in knowledge sim as well, I think, versus hot, attractive, feisty Nina. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let's see if we can get these two friends. Uh-oh. Hey, come to please. Demi Love has come to break up the party, I think. I think we've been a bit too loud, too late. And she's come to break up the party. No one seems to be having fun at this party. <laughs> Next time, take back your guests. Okay, this party's too loud. Let's break it up, people. Oh, Nina's feeling sad that she had a rubbish party. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Safe travels home. And Tatiana really does like us. Hi, Demi. Tana wants to go. Look how few minutes are Don. Don is not having a very good time, is he? Because he didn't get married to Cassandra. He and Nina, I think. Not Nina. Dina are no longer an item, I think. Maybe I'm not wrong. Oh, no, I'm wrong. They are an item. But he has now fallen out with Nina as well. <laughs> He's not thriving in this playthrough of Pleasant View. Our toilet is a disgrace. That's Vic and that. Vic and his food poison thrown up in it over and over and over again. And now it's just a disgrace. Toilet. <laughs> oh, I see. Don stole a newspaper, I see. So Don and Nina are no longer friends or romantically involved. And Don's not pleased with her, so he stole her newspaper. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, Don. Honestly, whatever. I'm really keen for Nina to make some girlfriends. Really, really keen. I tried to call Jenny Smith, but she's at work. I tried to call uh, Jen Burb, but she doesn't have a phone. So Nina invited Kirsten over and they're just having a little hangout and I really hope that they can become friends. I really want her to have some friends. I don't think they're getting on too, too well, but we'll just have them hang out a little bit and then we'll call up Jenny again later and see if we can get that want done for her because I just, yeah, I want her to be well-rounded and I wanted to have some, some mates. So yeah, we'll see. Oh, oh my God. Pause the game, pause the game. Okay. <laughs> Nina became friends with Kirsten. She also became friends with Jenny Smith. She now wants to be best friends with Kirsten and Jenny. And she has just gotten a baby bump. She's just gotten a baby bump. I didn't even know that she was sick. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know what to do with this information. Like Nina is is with child. And it must be Vicken's baby. Oh wow. Oh wow indeed. Okay. Okay. There we go then. And Nina Vicken baby incoming. She looks so cute in her maternity clothes. I love the orange floors, the pink kitchen, the green maternity clothes, the red hair. I think she looks so cute, bless her. She's gonna make some spaghetti. She's feeling hungry and then probably have a bath and go to sleep. She obviously needs to talk to Vicent and tell him, I guess, about the baby or does she not do that? Does she keep it a secret? Does she put the baby up for adoption? Does the baby go and live with Vicent? Oh, I don't know. I do not know the answer. Nina ate two bowls of spaghetti, which I don't blame her. She's craving those carbs in the pregnancy, which is absolutely fine. Had a good night's sleep and now she's going to have a little bath. It's only going to be, you know, tepid. We don't want a hot bath when you're pregnant. You can't have a super hot bath. You don't want to harm the baby in any way. So she's going to have a little bath and just think things through, I guess, and figure out what she's going to do next. It has just turned over to winter, which means we are done with Nina's round. We will not see the baby in this round, which is really sad. We'll have to wait till next time. We're we're playing the Caliente household before we see little baby Nina slash Vicent. So that will be interesting. My whole plan of Nina moving in with the singles girls, I'm not so sure now that she's pregnant. So yeah, we'll have to see. I guess we will next pick up Nina's story when we play the Curious Brothers, which will be 
a few weeks from now I think so yeah let me know what you think down below I hope you enjoyed the video and are enjoying this series um, and I will catch you guys in the next one which will be what I don't even know who's next in the list dreamers pleasants I don't know it's gonna be a surprise I guess <laughs> I'll catch you guys then thank you so much for watching bye for now